So we're here at CTIA 2012 in beautiful, humid New Orleans. I'm standing here uh, the day before the show. It's Monday. It's about noon or 1 o'clock. It's a very, very large show. Uh, my name is David Kalish, and I'm doing this video blog just to show you kind of what's going on. Basically what's going on is it's really, really hot and everybody's sweating. That's, that's the bottom line. You sweat every part of your body. But the show this year is all about um, helping operators with capacity, it seems. Addressing capacity, everything from using uh, Wi-Fi to offload mobile data traffic to more spectrum to the deployment of femtocells and, and devices. Lots of uh, focus around devices. This guy just ran me over about a minute ago. He's not too happy. So here's Kyocera's booth. This is the main aisle you see here. I'm going to walk around so it's going to get a little bit shaky, so let me apologize about that. Uh, there's lots of focus on, on applications uh, that help uh, users and operators connect to these networks more efficiently. Uh, there's lots of infrastructure products. Uh, HTC over there you can see is trying to be quietly brilliant. I'm not sure why they'd want to be quiet if they're brilliant, but they seem to have a, an idea about that. Uh, LG is here, of course, a lot of the big guys. Very big show. They expect about 45,000 people to attend, and the show opens tomorrow. I have no idea who Plum is. I'm sure somebody does. But uh, my question is, if, if the company's called Plum, why isn't there colors more like purplish but I have no idea so maybe you guys have an idea uh, but other than that you see all the, the typical people Ericsson's here uh, uh, of course uh, Cisco's here uh, there's all kinds of vendors uh, that you would never even imagine that would be here but it's a very very large show um, I think there's Huawei's there Huawei seems to be taking over the world they're showing their uh, GGSN and SGSN products. So lots of focus on the infrastructure, lots of focus on um, making it easier for users to connect, lots of focus on mobile data offload, using Wi-Fi and other kinds of technologies, and lots of focus on trying to stay as cool as humanly possible. And everybody seems to be in shorts except me, so that's a big problem. Anyway, I'll give you another update later. Thanks.